Hi right, folks, we're going to look at a second example of determining the rate of change of a function uh, using our limit definition. So here we want to find the rate of change now of a rational function, so x over x minus 1, and we want to find that at x equals 2. So here the rate of change uh, at a particular point is given by the slope of the tangent to the function at that point. Okay, this time here I'm going to use the second formulation for the uh, rate of change. So take the limit as h approaches 0 of uh, f at a plus h. So in this case here a is equal to 2. So 2 plus h minus f at a. So f at 2 all over h. Okay, so just a reminder of what this represents. Uh, this expression here represents the slope of the secant joining the points on the function at x equals 2 and a nearby point at x equals 2 plus h. Okay, and this means that we're looking for the number that these slopes approach as h gets closer and closer to 0. Okay, so let's input uh, all our information. Okay, so uh, f at 2 plus h, so just replace x by 2 plus h, so we have 2 plus h over 2 plus h minus 1, then minus f at 2, so 2 over 2 minus 1, and all over h. So again, we want to know what happens to this, this expression as h approaches 0. I can't, though, just input h equals 0 into this expression, because I'll have uh, 0 in the denominator, giving me something that's undefined. So let's see if we can do some algebra to eliminate that issue. Okay, so h approaches 0. So here let's simplify. So we have 2 plus h, and here 2 minus 1 is 1. So here we have h plus 1 minus uh, 2 over 1 is equal to 2. Okay, let's keep going, see where the algebra takes us. So here we have uh, the difference of uh, rational expressions, so I need to find a common denominator, so the common denominator will be h plus 1. So here we have 2 plus h, since that is already in the denominator. Nothing changes, but here I'll have to multiply 2 by uh, the expression h plus 1. Okay, that'll all be over h plus 1 now, and then of course over h. Okay, so again we keep going, seeing where the algebra takes us. So here we have, uh, here we have a minus 2h and a minus 2. I won't write it out, we can uh, solve it this way. So here 2 minus 2 gives us 0, and then here we have h minus 2h. So we've got negative h, okay, and then here we have uh, h plus 1, okay, and since this is just being divided by h, I can also just add that to the denominator here, okay, but this is where something very nice happens, is this h reduces with that h in the numerator to give us 1, and so what we're left with is the limit as h approaches 0, a negative of negative 1 over h plus 1. Now, if we look at this expression, we notice that we no longer have that issue uh, of a zero in the denominator. So as h approaches zero, h plus one just approaches one. Okay, so the whole expression will just approach negative one over one, and so that's the value of my limit. Okay, and this then is the slope of the tangent to the function at the point x equals two. Now, one thing you can do is uh, Go on an online grapher, graph this function, and you should see that it would make sense that the slope of the tangent at x equals 2 is equal to negative 1. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is work on a similar example, and again, you can use this formulation of the uh, slope of the tangent, or you can use the uh, first one that we saw. So the second example I want you to work on is, we'll say f at x is equal to uh, x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1, and you'll do that at x equals 3. Okay, so again you'll probably find that you're going to have to do again a subtraction or addition of rational expressions in order to eventually simplify out the uh, difficulty in the denominator. Okay, so try that out please.